Hi guys, it's Karen. I just wanted to pop on today and make um, and show you a quick card. And um, once you cut everything for it, it goes together really simple. And it's for a baby girl or a baby boy. So the first one I met made was this one. And um, I just put little booties here and a little sailboat and popped up a couple drawers to make it look like they were open. And that is what I did first. And then I was, showed it to my friend Sue, and she said, that looks great. What if you made it 3D? And I'm like, well, all right. So she came back and did a 3D. And I said, oh, I like that. But I wonder if I did this. We kind of went back and forth. And this is the one I came up with for the boy. And... I'm going to bounce these down. And this one for the girl. And it's basically just a little U and it's glued. And um, that's it. The pieces that I got, this was Jolie's. I only had one and it's adorable. But um, for the other pieces, like um, the lotion, the duck, uh, the duck, um, you can... Um, copy those so that you don't use up your one duck and whatever not and I basically this pretty much won't really work for much I guess I could do the duck or something and put it on the bottom but it does have bibs and words and pins um, but then something like this would look really cute with the little elephant at the bottom and then there is uh, this with the owl and the, but the best thing, oh, it's on here, nothing much, just another baby thing. The best things were if it had a little baby bottle and that kind of stuff, which I just had here a second ago, um, because you can copy them and then you can put on the glossy accents and it kind of gives it that shine. Um, which really makes it look like it's its own sticker. So here are those. And then the big bottle, which is, this one is actually the sticker. And it's tall, so I probably will cut it. But you just put them on your, uh, on your um, tray of your printer. And then um, you put the glossy accents in a dimensional on the back. And then you just keep making them. So since I don't have any girl things, um, I am not going to make this. But I will be making something like this without the little clothes. And then these, you kind of, I'll show you how to make those. And then put the little things at the top. And they're just really cute. So what you are going to need is a card bed card base four and a quarter by five and a half and then I um trying to use up all of my paper that's discontinued so um I believe this piece and this piece are from festive farmhouse and for the girls this one is from all my love and that's just a really cute pattern for babies or for anything it doesn't necessarily only be for Valentine's Day and you gotta throw it away now because Valentine's Day is over. No, you don't have to do that. So then you need some little knobs for the dressers. So these are just uh, pearls that are cut in half with um, the little glue on the back. So first thing we do is just cut the paper four and a quarter, five and a half, and that basically is gonna be your wallpaper. And um, all right, so let's get going. Now, this is a new way I'm trying for my camera. So I'll watch it back and I'm sure I'll hate it, but if you guys hate it too, just let me know. Because I have been very, very busy getting everything ready for this mystery sale boxes, which I think is gonna be so much fun because I've gotten the mystery box ones before and there's nothing better than not knowing what you got. Um, and then I've been watching some and it's kind of cool. And I did want to let you guys know whatever, however many or whatever that you get, I did basically try and, and test every 
pen, marker, ink, stamp pad as I could. Um, and everything is not new, but everything is gently used, well taken care of, and I won't be putting anything that is, you know, not worth anything in your box. If I happen to have stickers that are missing one or two things off of it, I will throw it in the box just because I want to make them as like as full as I possibly can because they're going to be in the large um, post office flat rate shipping, which I think is $18. I have to check. Um, and I think I'm going to do the boxes at $30. I was going to do $30 and $60, two different sizes, but you guys let me know if, if that's something that you would rather have or should I just stick to one size? So keep all that in mind. Mull it over, get back to me. All right, so we got our wallpaper on. So the next thing we need is our dresser, which is a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and it measures uh, four by five. And I'm wondering if I should go a little, I'm gonna just take a little bit more off um, the five inch side. It just looks kind of, you know, off the four. I'm gonna go to three and three quarters. Because I think, yeah, because I'm going to cut this down and this is going to look so much better. Okay, so first thing I want to do is get a paper punch and any kind of decorative anything is perfect. And all I want to do is just, where is this stuck? because I'm closing it. Just find the center and you just, I don't know if you guys have them, but all growing up, we used to have these white dressers and everybody in the state had white dressers, I think. And if you had a yard sale, people would come and they'd be like, oh, do you have any of those white dressers? So I don't know if it's a Massachusetts thing and we're all just really weird or I have no idea, but it is a weird thing. Um, all right, so you don't want it to go too far up and you want to try and get it centered. And that's not centered. This one looks better. So yeah, you don't want to take a big hunk out of it, but you just want it to look pretty. And you really don't have to be this crazy with it, but all right. There we go. So that just gives it a little bit of an edge, which is cute. And that way when it's on the wallpaper <laughs> card, you know what it is. All right, so I want to score the back of this dresser and I'm going to score it at four. It's actually a little bit shy of four, but that's all right. And at this way, uh, four and a half. And basically, this is what's going to make it pop out for the 3D part of it. So you want to, just going to fold that and just get that little U. And i got to cut these down now that I shortened that. So this was at three and three quarters. And I think I'm going to try three and one quarter. Yeah, that looks better. And I'm also going to cut down the length of the top. Or, I wonder. Oh, that's about right. All right, so I'm just going to shorten the actual dresser part of the draw. So, let's see how long that is. So, I'm going to cut right there. Yeah, so I think I'm going to cut a little bit more. And you kind of want to have the, the little stripes in the paper work for you um, because you don't want to cut it off. Then it looks like it's just floating there. 
and I want to go a little bit shorter. But you want to make sure there's some kind of an edge there so it doesn't look like it's just floating in space. So I'm going to cut that little bit off the bottom. I'm going to try at two inches. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to glue that down. So I don't know if anybody read my Facebook from yesterday, but uh, my husband got up for work and it was a really weird day because he got up earlier than he usually goes to work and I'm always up early. So he came down to leave at like 5, 15, 5 30 and he let, he went out to get his work boots out of the garage and um, Gunner, our dachshund, followed him. And then my husband heard something and the dog started growling. So he went out and there was a coyote in my yard. And not just like a coyote in your yard way in the back. He was up near the garage. And he was not at all concerned that my husband was standing right there um, screaming at him to leave. And uh, he then just kind of stayed in our yard for the next couple of hours and um, laid there waiting. It was like horrifying. Like I just, I don't know what would happen if my husband didn't get up when he got up, which is weird at that time. Um, I would have just let the dog out because we have the electric fence. So I would have had absolutely no problem just letting them out to do their thing and um, I just thank God that he did. And also, when he showed it to me, I thought it was a dog. And I would have said, oh, look at the dog. And I know that's sad, but they look like little German Shepherd kind of things. And, um, yeah, it was big, and it was scary, and I was horrified. And thank God yesterday is over because I just was so stressed out all day thinking that... Um, yeah, this thing is going to come back. So I had to take the dogs out one by one and put them. We have a gated area. It was just a nightmare. But this, um, this coyote was just not having a problem with being there. So I called, you know, dog control, animal control twice. They didn't call me back. And then I called the police station and they told me to push number seven if it had anything to do with wildlife or whatever. So I pushed number seven, for which the police then told me to call the animal control. So, yeah, tax dollars at work there. So I got absolutely no help from anybody. And it was just so stressful. And I just thank God it wasn't there this morning. And we knew it wasn't there because the little bunnies were back in the yard and can't imagine that if the coyote was out there, it would actually just have no problem eating bunnies, so. All right, so we're gonna glue that top part of the U, which is kind of low. So that top part of the U, that little skinny bit, which is crooked, is the only thing you're gonna glue down. And you wanna make sure that when you close it to put it in an envelope, you gotta fold it up. God, that's crooked. You wanna make sure that you fold it up so it will all fit in the card, uh, the envelope. So, this is very crooked. Don't know why. So it was just a very eventful day. All right, I still think it's crooked, but we're going for it. Next thing you wanna do is we are gonna put draws on here. So I need some dimensionals. And I gotta cut these down now that I cut that down. Gunner, do you wanna go in timeout? Good choice. And then I'll cut these down. I was freezing and now I am dying. So I'm taking off a sweater. And um, 
wondering if you guys are all excited for the new catalog coming out because I have ordered stuff and some stuff has come and I will do a little video because I can show you what I bought. I just can't show you the catalog, which doesn't make any sense to me at all, but I don't make the rules. So anyway, we're going to just stick these little ones, um, which are going to be these two top drawers here. And the reason that we're popping them up just to make it look like it's not so flat and um, kind of makes the drawers look like they might be open a little bit, which is kind of cute. And yeah, so I even placed another order. I'm talking quiet like my husband's here and he can hear me, but he's not. And um, yeah, I just placed another order. I don't know why. I just have $20 million worth of stuff in the dining room that I'm putting into boxes to sell to you guys and I am purchasing more. But I am condensing whatever part of my life that I used to craft all different kinds of things. I think I'm getting too old and I don't have time, which I do have time, I'm at home all the time, but just the amount of room that's needed to keep my clay and my, what else do I do? Quilling and my um, felting and my sewing, it's just too much. And I'm not talented enough in any of those things to really make it worth my while to do it. All right, so then you're going to take your little half pearls oh, and kind of just stick them in the middle. And these are not Stampin' Up! I've had these for a while. So it's the other thing I'm trying to um, put in people's mystery boxes. Um just because I want to get new stuff and I really don't need new stuff because I have all this stuff. So it will be new stuff to you guys. It's just old stuff to me. All right, so I stuck to my finger. So this is what we've got so far. Isn't it cute? All right, so we have some little keys that, this isn't sticky anymore. Um, that we can hook on the side as if, um, you know, they're there to entertain the baby while you are finding um, clothes for him or her. Well, I guess it's a him. And then um, I'm going to put another one in there. But so I did buy a lot of, I can show you the colors. I did buy a lot of stuff and I did put it away so that nobody would notice that there was new stuff in the house, which I have so much everywhere in the house, no one would know. And I'm gonna stick that on the top. So we've got like a little binky and a little, I don't know if that's a Massachusetts term either, binky. I know that that's what I've called it when my kids, for them. Now I'm gonna use this bottle because this is just the cardboard one that I have made copies of. Um, and I'm gonna actually do the same thing and make a little um, a little C or U thing to hold the bottle so it's standing up. So basically, I'm just making that three-sided square, I'll call it. And then we're gonna just stick this guy onto here, and then we're going to stick this tab onto the back. So, I'm just going to put some of my snail, which I'm still trying to figure out why it has that name, but I asked the people at Stampin' Up! and they said, huh, we don't know. Let me ask somebody. And she came back and she said, yeah, she doesn't know either. And I said, oh, all right. Because I didn't need the answer, but I would have liked the answer. Because stuff like that drives me crazy. Like, I'll think about it all day now. My husband thinks it's weird, but I don't care. So you want to make it so that 
you can position it so it looks like it's standing up there. And you also want it to be able to fold to put into the card. So that goes like that. Okay. So now all we have to do is basically, I guess it's done. So this is it. And you can stand it up like that, or you can open it and stand it like that. But they're really quick and easy to make. And um, if you want to make this and you do not have this paper, um, just drop me a note and I will cut some out for you and send it out so that you can um, make your own. Because you saw how quick it was to make it. And you don't have to do the 3D, you can just do this. But I have, I have plenty of this paper that I can certainly send it out to you guys, anyone who would like to um, make this card. I would be happy to share. So that is it, ladies. And um, I will kind of get some stuff together and make a video and post it showing you all my new stuff. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And I'm just so happy we have no coyote. So let's all be thankful for that because I would be totally neurotic. Not that I'm not already, but it would be worse. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.